Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called The Clown's Fun. Now, this is yet another game made from 616 games. What's wrong with these people? Like, I'm starting to get sick of these developers. I'm seeing games left and right. But this is a game where you are working at the mini market, at the night shift. We know how scary those can be. Let's see what happens on our shift right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Hi, Steve. I won't be able to be at the store today. I have a lot to do. Don't forget to do your homework, and please do it in the order I'll show you. Collect shopping carts from the parking lot, sweep the floor, take out the garbage, which is weird to say because usually it just says take out the trash, but they want to go full garbage. I see you getting classy with it. Return the goods to the location. Okay, you got the stuff type shit. I can't use the company phone. That's the company phone? This shit is falling on hard times, and that's the company phone. That looked like some shit that you use in the 1840s. You really look like you could get sick eating this meat. Like, this meat got hair. This meat looked partially cooked. I buy and cook ground beef all the time. That shit look a little brown. Oh, somebody's coming in. Okay, no more talking about anybody's meat but my own. An act natural. Let's go. Ha, ha, hoo, ha. Night shift. Let's go. Oh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. That's my night shift stretch. The CCCC, por favor. You better not walk out with that. I swear you better not walk out with that. Turn over here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Drove all the way to the mini mart just to get a drink. Good night, bro. This beer is alcohol free, right? I'm driving and I don't want to cause an accident. Good evening, sir. This beer is non-alcoholic. Would you like anything else? Thank you, that's all. How much do I owe you? Beer costs one dollar. Here's my friend. Wait, where? Where's your friend? Thank you. Keep the change. Can I ask you a question? Thank you very much. Of course you can ask. Aren't you afraid to work here alone? Even with that crazy killer on the loose? I confess I'm afraid, but I need work. I got bills to pay, baby. Okay, have a good job. Good night. I don't have a good job. And you gave me five bucks? I need to start doing my chores. Yes, mommy. Okay, let's start doing my chores. Get the hell out of there. I need to push the carts back in the location, don't I? Or do I do this? Ah. Okay. Where do I go? What do I do? That's a serial killer van. That's freaking blood. I think I'm the killer. You know what? I've been calling the ending of these 616 games. So I think I'm right. I think that I'm right with that. But there's only one more card that we need to do. I think that I am the killer in this whole thing. Don't tell me this is my card. What the fuck? Did the lights turn on in that? What? Wait a minute. What is happening? What is happening? Wait, that's not my car. Okay, never mind. That was weird as hell. Okay, close that up. That was disturbing. Okay, so collect shopping carts from the parking lot. Sweep the floor. Okay, is anybody in here? Nope, nobody's in here. All right, let me sweep the floor real quick. Sweep the flies. Gotta sweep the trash. Make sure I just keep sweeping and sweeping. All right, I had to put down the standing desk because this is an Icarumba Mamacita Aichiwawa, okay? So I think I'm done with the sweeping. So we put that back. And the next thing I need to do is take out the garbage. Okay. So then I throw the trash. What the fuck does that even mean, then I throw the trash? Okay, um, I have no idea what the hell that's even talking about. Oh, somebody's coming. Shit, here comes that annoying beggar again. Okay, I didn't even know he was a beggar, and I didn't even know he was annoying. He is wearing those snazzy jean shorts, though, and it looks like he wiped his own ass with it. Hey, Steve. How's my friend doing? I'm so hungry, man. Get me something to eat here. You again, Will? I already told you I can't give you anything. I'm working. What's up, man? Give me something there. I'm so hungry, I eat even a stone. I can't, man. Want me to be fired? Please go away. All is well. Nobody helps anybody else. Take care, Steve. He doesn't forgive. Who doesn't forgive? You look like you've been eating way too much ass. That shit looks swollen, my boy. I would give him, like, the tip that I got from the $5 bill. Where the hell are you going? What are you doing? You want a cappuccino? It better be decaf. Okay, I thought he was going to get a cappuccino. He's just out there holding the trash bag. I need to throw this right now. Let's open this up. And where is... Oh, my God. You couldn't even just walk out by yourself and throw the trash? Have to save it for the night shift guy? That is the saddest thing. Like, I thought coworkers had each other's backs. Like, you scratch mine, I wipe yours. Like, this doesn't even make any sense to me. At least the bags took the flies with them. Return the goods to the location. What does that even mean? 
Who's that freak standing outside? Oh shit! Oh god, no! Beggar Will! Run! It's a dude with a clown nose! No, my boy! He better go circus freak on that ass! Wait, hold on. Bye, have a great oh day. shit, he scooped up the homie real quick! He did a drive-by standing there menacingly. I've never seen that before. Like, I've seen drive-by shootings, but this dude was just drive-by staring. That's a new low, even for me. Bro, this is the Jacksepticeye guy from the other game. <laughs> Ryan. Hi. Oh, would you like a pack of cigarettes, please? Good night, sir. Did you see that crazy guy standing out front? Was wearing a clown mask. Oh, I'm sorry, but I didn't see anyone. I think you're working too young. Working too young or working too long? It must be my imagination. It scares me to work here at night and alone. Could you please give me a pack of cigarettes? I'm a little late. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take it. I don't even know what the fuck that even means. Okay. Thank you and take care. I mean, thank you and take care. He's walking away with so much freaking sass. Hips swiveling and everything. My boy, calm down with that. What is return the goods to the location? I feel like that's a drug deal about to go very, very weird. Oh, I need to return these goods to the location. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't even know. Okay, let's return the beer. Somebody's coming up. Oh, fuck. Somebody's pulling up. Wait, 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 wait. That's the same car. That's the same car. That's the serial killer car. That car again? I'm going to finish returning these products and calling the police. Just in case. You can't call the police just because a suspicious ass car pulls up. That doesn't even make any sense, my boy. Wait. Actually, wait. That does make sense. Because he just pulled up, but he didn't pull out. He didn't pull out. Oh, shit. Dot, dot, dot's my worst enemy. Police station, how may I help you? Good night, police. My name is Steve, and I think someone is watching me at work. Police station, how can I help you? Police station, how can I help you? Got it, Steve. <laughs> what the fuck this game? I'm telling you, 616 Games, you all need some sleep. You're cranking out these games that you're seeing things double and triple. Got it, Steve. I'll send a squad car to the scene to check which address. Thank you, officer. I work at the Mini Mart on Altadena Avenue. Okay, stay safe. A cop will be here soon. Thank you. Thank the lordy. Okay, so there was a suspicious looking clown trying to do some circus freak type shit around this area. But we're not having that because we don't appreciate solicitors. So I'm just going to stand here with my thumb firmly between my butt cheeks. And I'm just going to figure things out. Like, this bitch better not pop up on my screen. Or else, like, shouldn't they give me a weapon? Like a lethal weapon. Like, I'll even take ninja stars or something. Like, oh shit, he's right there. Is he coming in? Bro, he has a hammer. Bro, it's not even hammer time. It's two in the morning. It's too late for that bullshit. What are you doing? He's going around the back. What the fuck? He's going around the back. I am not going to risk my life over this freaking mini mart ass bullshit. Oh, dude, this is giving me a weird feeling in my stomach. Oh, the police are here. Yes. The policia, my boy! Yeah, it's the cops, it's the cops. Damn, he has the gloves on, too. He got those weightlifting gloves. What's up, my boy? <laughs> yeah, get over here, my dude. All right. I kind of feel a little bit safer for some reason, but this guy's not coming in. Dude, get in here. What the fuck are you doing? Cop! Hey, I'm in here! Excuse me, you dumb dick. Okay, I have no idea what he wants me to do. Um, he's still standing there. Should I go? I have no clue. Oh, okay. That was random as fuck. <laughs> what? what oh, shit! Dude had that anime moan, and then he just went, Oh my god, he is not gonna be in Mini Mark 2 or whatever the fuck. I hate this game. Game, bro. Okay. All right. Oh, the car's there. Um. Well, we know that the clown's here, right? What? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, this is. The what? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, sound like he was gagging on some balls. He's like, oh. <laughs> who is that? That's the guy who was in the mini mart. Live or die. 
Okay, so I get to choose if this dude gets blasted in the face, basically. Hello, Steve, and welcome to our marathon of fun games. You will go through some games, and your survival is up to you. <laughs> Here's the rules. You have a total of 100 points, and you'll have to use it very wisely if you want to make it to the end. If the points reach zero, an explosive device in your neck will explode. <laughs> so let's go to the first game. In front of you is your best friend, Alfred. He has a shotgun pointed at his head. There are two levers. One gives life and the other takes life. If you kill him, you only lose 10 points and the door opens to continue. If you leave him alive, you will lose 30 points and you have a companion to continue the game. Come on, Steve, take your pick. Obviously, if he was my best friend, I wouldn't let him die. So I would let him live. But I need to live too, and I only have 100 points to spare. If I kill him, then it only takes off 10. If I let him live, it takes off 30, but I also get a homie for the next game. I could use him as a meat shield for the next game because I don't even know what it is. So I think I'll risk the 30 bones and let him live. So yeah, we'll have a companion for the next game. So come on, Alfred, you owe me one. Actually, you owe me more than one. Thanks for saving me, friend. Let's get out of this together. All right, Alfred, don't get all soft on me. Let's go. Come on. We got to go to the next game. Oh, Alfred? I thought you said I'd get out. Oh, shit, you scared the... Oh, you scared the shit out of me, Alfred. I should have just left you dead, baby. I should have just left you for dead. So what is this, heaven or hell? All right, Alfred, what would you choose? Hell? Well, you've been a bad boy, you said. You're toxic. Fuck, I should have left you dead. All right. Let's see what this next game is. Hi, Steve. Good to see you again. Now let's go to the second stage of our game. Now let's see how much you want to live. How much meat is available to donate to go to heaven. Next to the table is a scale and it needs to be fed meat. You can rip your arm off and go the way to heaven, but this will cost you 30 points. But if your friend Alfred still has his wits about him, you can rip his arm off and go down the road to hell. The bright spot is that this will only cost you 10 points. Take your pick, Steve. <laughs> All right, Alfred, I told you you owe me one, and that one is one arm. So we are gonna use this. And we are going to cut off Alfred's arm because instead of blowing off his face, I think he would gladly sacrifice an arm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alfred. My bad, my boy. Where are you? Oh, shit. Bro, what does that look like? <laughs> what is that, dude? Wait, I forgot that we have to go to hell. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Oh, shit. What? Oh, my God. God, I didn't even know there was a freaking thing. Oh shit, Alfred just walks through that so clean too. This dude Alfred is a G, bro. He should be the one playing these games, not me. Glad to see you in the final, Steve. Now on to the last test. This is an easy game. Let's see if you're lucky. Just enter a password to open the door and go. The password has three digits, 185. You just need to get the order right. But of course, for every wrong attempt, you lose 10 points. Ha 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 ha. I was forgetting. The walls will also close and crush you in less than two minutes. Ha 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 ha. Good luck. Okay, so it's 185. 185, right? Let's try um, 5, 8, 1. Please, please. Denied. Okay, um, eight, one, five. Please. Fuck. Five, one, eight. <gasps> got it! It was five, one, eight. Fuck yeah, we got it, dude. High five. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, let's go. Congratulations. You escaped. That was it. Whew. Wow. Um, that was a lot to take in. I don't know how I felt about that one. That was probably 616 games, like, most rushed and unrewarding games that they've come out with so far. I don't even know. It didn't make any sense to me. First, we worked at a night shift, which is an interesting concept by itself. And then all of a sudden, a clown takes us. I felt like it was so rushed. And it was just like so weird. Yeah, this one gets a thumbs down from me. Either way, the most important thing for me is that you were entertained at least for a little bit. You know, I really appreciate when people say that they love watching the videos every single day. I'm their escape from the reality, even just for a little bit. That's the most important thing to me. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.